Let's go, guys. So, finally, it's me doing a profile for once. Um, I went to UK Open with Rescue Ace and I managed to get 7th place. So, I went 8 1 over 9 rounds. So, yeah, it was a nice showing for the deck. Um, my list is very similar to Stephen, St Stephen Santoli's build that he did at um, YCS. So, I'm going to go over the list a little bit and then I'll talk about some techs and just some interesting things in the matchups and such. So, I started off with free airlifter, free hydrogen, free impulse, standard ratios for um, consistency, then two turbulence and two momentum. I do think turbulence is going down to one. Everyone keeps telling me it used to be a two, but no offense, but you guys are just wrong. Um, the card's good, but I said one out every time because you, don't, you just don't need the second. This card is more important. Like I feel like it may almost make more sense to play three of this and one turbulence. Um, impulse is really, really good. Um, it carried a lot of matchups by itself. I didn't play a huge amount of hand traps, but having impulse just meant that a lot of rogue matchups. Like in my first four rounds, I didn't drop a single game, and that's largely because of having cards like impulse. Then I played just the standard lineup of spells. Um, Reinforce is another mandatory that everyone who doesn't play, I don't know. Um, I, 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 you can play without reinforce, but playing with reinforce makes the deck so much better that. I just think you have to have it. Yes, it's another brick, but it's worth having it. Um, my last game against Labyrinth, it came up like in the Labyrinth matchup. This is what allows you to beat Labyrinth without having to see any spell and trap removal because it just makes your grind so much better. It makes battle so much better. Really, really good card. So, yeah, definitely. Um, one reinforce is needed. One witch. Three wanted. One eye. So, I do like her at two and three, and sometimes I have her at two and three. Like, I had another build that I was thinking of when I was playing Super Poly and Evenly, and I had her at three in that. But in this build, you can definitely get away with her at one. This engine was amazing, though. Every time I saw it, it just did so much work. And the recursion. One thing I see people doing a lot as well is wasting the draw. So, when you use this engine, you end the turn with these three engrave. And a lot of people waste the draw by putting these two back to get a draw. I don't think you should ever really be doing that in this deck. Like it's very I don't think I ever did that unless the situation is stupid dire. You always wait until next turn because then you banish this first, put this in the grave and you get hydrogen, then banish this and get another draw. And now you've got just you've basically got a sky strike engage and rescue ace instead of just wasting to get a random draw. Um, so you always save this for recursion, but this engine is so good, and this is why you never need follow up, and I can be very really greedy in my sets. I use emergency um, sorry, I use my sets like rescue really offensively because I, I know I have follow up next turn unless my opponent has a bisty or something. So yeah, engine is amazing. Then pro um, consistency cards. So just yeah, free prosperity one rotar. I don't play small world because I wouldn't play just play another witch. Don't play small world, and I won't play one for one because don't just play um, another copy of witch. Then for hand traps, three ash because it's good. I lost one of my common ones, which is like a rare reason it's matching. Three nib, this was really bad. It should have been three droll. It didn't do a good job for me, but... Well, I guess it won one match, but even the match at one, like, a droll would have been just as good. Um, three imp, um, this card is pretty good, um, but the MVP kind of back row, um, sorry, side decks, um, utility or whatever, is droplet. Droplet was just amazing. Um... Round one, I was in Synchron, and he made like that uncrackable board that Synchron does. But because I had this, I was able to just out the board for free. And like, because you play quick plays, like, this has really good synergy. Because, like, so it's like I was against that guy, and I opened these two droplets and something else. I think I opened Nib as well, but I, I just didn't use the Nib on his turn because I had droplets. I was so confident that as long as he's not handed me, I win. And so I did like activate this, activate this, droplet, send all three, and then basically negate this whole board even though I only really paid two cards for it, so it's just absolutely insane, I, I really think that um, Droplets is good. Econ is nice as well, but I think the fact that Droplets hits things that you can't deal with, Untargeted Monsters is a big issue in this deck, that's why I think you should just be playing Droplets instead. I think Super Poly is just as good as well, so Droplets Super Poly over Econ in my opinion. Extra deck, nothing different, it's literally just the Santoli Extra deck again. I think his take on the deck is absolutely stellar, and I don't think anything really needs to be changed about it, so... Yeah, nothing's different. One thing I would say as well is this package was crazy. I was using this package all the time, not just for terahertz, but for access code. One of the things that I think a lot of my opponents didn't expect is that one hydrant means that this package turns into access code, a 6300 access code with a bounce. And this came up in multiple games. So you do the regular combo, but when you get to this point, you just make access code instead. And the reason why that's so crazy is because like, I was against a Dragoon that was at 6,000 attack and I was able to out that with one Hydrant and my opponent didn't know it was coming. Um, in my last game against Labyrinth, the game that came up, just so many games I was able to do that. 
and it's nice especially because the bounce means that you still have removal even though you don't have the access code pop which is really good so i think you get one access code pop and three bounces or something like that so um so one access code pop and one bounce instead of two pops so that package is really really good Celine was okay but you probably could have gone without it then my extra deck i played three evenly this card's amazing um lightning storm and duster this combined is my back row matchup i never said that more than six my main deck was 44 but i never said that more than six talents so this was in the side deck because originally it was in my main and the nibs were here but i switched it around last second that was wrong but i don't think you really need talents you just it's so easy to play like talents is good but droplets does the same job in terms of what it's addressing most of the time and so yeah just it wasn't that good Droll, this is unfair, and D-Barrier. I never had a game against, so I only had a few games that weren't 2-0s, a few matches that weren't 2-0s, and of those matches, none of them were a deck that lost to D-Barrier, so that never got sided in, but it's a good card, just not as relevant. But yeah, guys, that's the list. Um, so, a bit so, of a scene change, because I was really tired, as you can tell, by my low energy in this video. But just to run through the matchups quickly, um, round one, I was against Synchron, um, that was a really straightforward match. Um, it was a 2-0-1 win by me. I lost the die roll, but I had droplets both games, so it was just very easy to out this whole board. As I explained earlier this video, with like activating cards and then chaining droplets, it's just very hard for them to play around it. Oof, got some little spisk off on my chin. Then <laughs> round two was against Destina. Um, that was a weird game. I don't really see much. Both like so it was again I lost die roll, 2 0 wins to me. Both games, he Norman summoned Jen or Ken, and then I ashed it, and then he passed, and I killed him. Round three was against Trap Tricks? No, Brandon Camara. It was against Brandon Camara. Game one, he didn't see the Camara side of his engine, so he basically made Dragoon and passed. And um, I just killed the Dragoon, killed him. Game two, he T-set, killed him when I won. Round four was against Trap Tricks, lost dice roll again. Made Sarah by open droplet, so his Sarah got negated and he got killed. Game two, he shifted and then played into Nib. And the problem with Trap Tricks is that you can play around Nib in Trap Tricks, but you can't play around Nib if you shift. I don't think shift is a good card in Trap Tricks anyway. But yeah, he shifted, then plays into Nib, so he gets Nibbed by me. And then um, I just kill him on the crackback because he has no cards left. And because he shifted as well, his Holotea or Trap or whatever it's called ends up in Grave, which means that he can't like get Recursion. Then we had the Break. Round 5, my only loss of the day, which was against Minifez. He was on um, Infernoble. Really, really good game. He played it super well. I learned a lot about the Infernoble. Like, I find that matchup just hard to deal with in general. Um, and I learned a lot about it. But unfortunately, he just played better than me. And so he ended up winning. Um, round 6 was against one of the Tier 0 guys. And he was on Manadium. Game 1. And so the Infernoble game and this one, I won the die roll. <laughs> but yeah, game 1, won the die roll, made a board. And then he just killed me, like, ah. Uh, and it was like, Manadium's so annoying because they just, like, extend infinitely. And I was so, I was just rattled when I when I had lost. Because I was thinking, I went first and I lost. Like, going into I was thinking, oh, there's no way I lose this. I've won the die roll for once. I can do combo. Then he just kills me through full board. And I just like, oh my gosh, okay. Game two, I used my interactions a bit better. And um, I learned from kind of, like, what I did before that wasn't ideal. And then game three, I kind of bricked because basically I opened Droll, Preventer, um droplet something else so it's like i open like cards that can interact with him but i don't open any engine but droll i draw him he talents he takes my prevent out of my hand which is the only interact like rescue base card i had anyway and then he passes to me i draw nib for turn so it's like okay i've got droplets in perm and then now i have nib in my hand and something else then he plays into nib and he did say like it was a little bit of a mistake he could have played a bit more safe and just like made barone and then passed and kind of done, done barone control but um, because of that, he, end up, he ends up getting nibbed by me. And then I draw dro uh, Droll for turn. So I normal summon the Droll. Make um, SP Knight banish his Astraloud. Make Typhon bounce the token. And then from there, it's just um, Typhon control until I win. Round 7 was against Pearly. He did the whole Secret Village check. And the problem with Secret Village, I don't really like it in Pearly. I think Pearly has a bad matchup in this case. Everyone says that it has a good matchup. I think it has a bad matchup. And so he makes his secret village board, but I just out it, impulse outs Noir, because it does, it's just quite easy to out Noir with impulse. And then after I've outed his Noir, and he doesn't have field spell as well, which means that he gets even less recursion, I just kill him and leave him with the secret village. Not kill him, but I kill his board and leave him with the secret village, so he just ends up losing. Game two, his, he basically loses to one imperm on the Lily, which is it's just how it is sometimes, I guess. Round 
eight was the mirror match against Rescue Ace, and I just moved first. And I do think it was just a lot, a lot in large part due to just I think I do know the deck really well and the mirror really well, and so I won the die roll, went first one. I should have won game two as well, to be honest. I made a huge misplay because I knew he had super poly, and so I knew what his four sets were, and I, and he used contain extinguish already. And then, like, I knew in my head, like, okay, make Link Rebo with Hydrant first so that when you summon Turbulence, he can't get super polyed. I didn't do it for some reason. I just kind of forgot. Yeah, it's even doubly problematic because I did that and, like, I didn't banish a monster, which meant my Preventer would have been dead as well. So just get super polyed and I lose, which is a shame. But then game three, end up winning. He just doesn't open well enough and I've made full board. Um, then last round was against Labyrinth. Shout out to my opponent. He was one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um... So game one, this is the only game in the whole tournament that I bricked. So I open Contain, Reinforce, Double Imperm, and um, Nib into Labyrinth, and he won the die roll. So he just basically sets a bunch of cards and stuff, and I, I just can't do anything. I don't have any cards to play the game. Game two, I go first and I win because just this Rescue Ace is easy in game three. And genuinely, guys, play Reinforce. Reinforce makes the Labyrinth matchup so free. I just managed to get a lot of advantage, and then... At a certain point, I kind of the game swung in his favour, um, but I had Lightning Storm and Evening in my hand that I had didn't hadn't used, and so he like pops a card on my board which makes my Evening lied. I Evening him for like six, and then I have Turbulence. I do have to banish my Reinforce and my HQ to set Turbulence, which is problematic. But luckily enough, he has one card left on board, which is Lady, and that gets outed straight away on his turn. I just extinguish it, and then I make access. I draw a Hydro for turn, so I access code kill him. Oh well, yeah, actually killing the turn after that. So yeah, finished the day on eight one. Really, really good tournament. I had a great time. I learned so much as well. I feel like this tournament I've learned way more than I learned in like the last like month of like prepping hard. But um, just to finalise, shoutouts. Two main shoutouts. First shout out to my wife because you guys might not know, but <laughs> I've been abandoning her and like playing loads of Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff every weekend. So shout out to her for. And not getting too upset at me. And then shout out to all the Birmingham guys. Like, they were just really, really supportive group. It it's nice to have a group of good players that you can go with. Because, like, when you're trying to get better at the game, you need players that are better than you and know how to play the game to do it. And, like, all of these guys just have been so supportive um, on the train up. Like, they were helping me in my deck. Like, oh, do this, do that. Like, a lot of the traces in my deck weren't because I, I'm just a smart guy. And I thought, but no, it's because someone told me. And I was like, all right, that makes sense. I'm going to do it. So, um, shout out to them for all, like, kind of just being very supportive and helpful. And, and on the day as well, they all stayed, like, all of them kind of, like, had been out by, like, round six or so. But they all stayed to the end just to be supportive, which was really, really appreciated. So, yeah, really awesome group. Birmingham's a great place to do locals. But, yeah, thank you all for watching as well, guys. Um, I'm going to have a lot more content coming out over the next month. That's why I hadn't released a video in, like, two weeks, because I was prepping really hard for this, alongside have being busy at work. But <laughs> you guys might not be able to see, but on my screen... I've got about 13, no, not 13, like 20 something videos that I've just finished editing and I'm about to upload them all and schedule them over, all over the next two months. I am going on holiday at the end of this month, but there'll be videos. It'll just be random dual videos, random opening videos. So yeah, stay tuned for that, guys. But anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.